mostly all cap brood on both sides. Well, hello, my busy bees. It is Easter Sunday. It's been a couple of weeks since we moved the stump hive. So we're gonna go out there and check on them. Um, let you get a really good idea of just how tiny this little colony is. And we're gonna see if the queen has started laying. When we moved them, there wasn't any brood anywhere to be found. So if she hasn't started laying, then I will likely dispatch her and shake what little bees there are into another colony. Um, they're just too small to deal with. Um, if she has started laying, then we're going to give them the best chance that we can by uh, doing a little robin hooding. We're going to steal some resources from stronger hives out there and try to boost them, help them out a little bit. So let me suit up and fire up the smoker and I'll meet y'all in the bee yard. Tiny little things. Let's see what's in here. Hopefully, we've got a laying queen. I've been feeding them like crazy. Yeah, they have filled this up with that sugar syrup. That looks good. A little bit of sugar syrup on this side and this is honey that was in there already it looks like they've used some of it hey i'm seeing capped brood I'm seeing eggs. Our queen has started laying. That's awesome. Where is she? I do see eggs though. Let's see if she's on this other side. We got some young larva. Got a little bit of capped brood. Where is our queen though? Seeing eggs. Where's our queen? She is pretty small. You know, I completely missed her when I moved these guys. Right, let's check the next frame. That is heavy. This is honey that I gave them when I put this nuke together for them.
Where is the queen? She's got to be here. We've got eggs. She's got to be here, y'all. Just missed her. Why am I having such a hard time spotting this queen? What is so different about her that I can't see her? I mean, I know she's small, but... She's got she's got to be here, right? She's got to be here. There she is. What on earth is she doing on this frame? Usually they won't get on the nectar frames because they don't like getting their feet sticky. But here she is on the nectar frame. Okay then, so we have a lane queen. Um, we're gonna go steal some brood for them so we can get some more bees in here because we have so, so many little tiny bees. So few bees. All right, um, so I'm just gonna close them up temporarily. And we are gonna steal some brood from our hive over here. That is nectar because I have not been feeding. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're in a flow looking at that. doesn't need extra work it's already done but we're gonna steal the nurse bees and everything on this frame make sure my queen's not on here being as 
this frame is completely laid up, the chances of her being on this frame are pretty low, but we are going to be 100% sure. This queen is marked, but it's the mark is pretty rubbed off, but she is a very large queen. If we bump into her today, I'll show her to you, but she's she's pretty hard to miss because she's just huge. Pollen pants on that girl. Isn't that pretty? Again, this frame's completely laid up, so I very seriously doubt we'll see our queen on it, but we are going to be certain. Alright, I don't see her. never fails as soon as I come out here the wind starts blowing Not much going on that, so they're not gonna miss it. Now I'd like my queen to move back to that brood frame. It looks like she has. I don't see her on here, so that's good. There she is. Okay, she's back on this brood frame where she belongs. And that's the only brood frame. <laughs> so, I'm gonna put her on the other side because I don't want to put these new bees right on top of her. That's a honey frame. Oh, that's a very heavy honey frame. All right, so which one of these am I gonna take out of here? Because. You know what, there's no bees on this one, so I think I'll take it out. There's a lot of honey on that thing though. There's a lot of honey on that one too, so we'll leave them that one. And we're gonna put those two brood frames right there. Make sure my queen is still where I saw her. I guess she already jumped to that other frame. Good grief, she is a little runner. My goodness. 
Yeah, she already jumped right back to this frame. <laughs> All right. We are gonna put those two brood frames right there. Now they're getting a lot of bees with this. And hopefully it all works out. We don't lose our queen. But you know, that's the chance we're taking here. I've done this before without any problems. But It was also um, a much larger colony that I was boosting. I mean, this, these two frames of bees is more bees than is in this colony. So we could, this could be a massive problem, but we're gonna give it a try. So far, it looks okay. Our queen is over here. So, you know, they're not gonna instantly find her. And those nurse bees are gonna stay on the, that brood because there is some open brood in there and they'll need to take care of it. So with our queen being here, and, you know, I suspect she'll stay on that side. There's no reason for her to come back over to this side because she had it laid. She'll be laying over here. That'll give these guys, these bees, a couple of days to get used to her pheromone. Hopefully, you know, hopefully she'll stay over here. But, uh, that's a huge boost for this little guy, colony. I'm going to check back in a couple of days and make sure we're still queen, queen right and that our new bees didn't kill our queen i don't think they will they're a bunch of nurse bees and you know usually young nurse bees they don't really have a you know they're not subjected to a, a colony and they generally accept anything at least that's what i've read they all seem to be getting along. They're feeding each other. I mean, there's no, there's no fighting. And usually when you, when you have a problem, you'll see them fighting right away. These guys just seem to be chilling. All right. So let's get our pollen patty back on here. They're going to need to re I'm going to need to refill that in a couple of days, but that's good that they're taking it. Happy about that. Now, if this takes and we don't have any problems out of this, you know, combination here, then these guys might outgrow this nuke pretty quick. Cuz you know, the the numbers of bees in here already doubled. And then when all that brood hatches, it's going to uh, quadruple. My goal is to have them in a deep at least by July so that we can get them with good stores for winter. All right. We'll check back in a couple of days sure we are still queen right sure put a lot of bees in here but we're in a flow and uh, I think food is bountiful right now so there's not much to fight about okay it's been three days since we 
put some brood and bees in here. So let's see what's going on. And let's make sure we are still queen right. Definitely a lot more activity up here. And I think they're kind of warm. There's a lot of fanning going on out here. They completely down this syrup. I don't want to bother them too much. This is the frame our queen was on when we left them. So let's see if she's here. Don't see her here. I see a queen cup. I don't see her here. Let's see if there's anything in this queen cup. I don't see anything in that queen cup. Alright, this was our one and only brood frame. Still seeing lots of brood. Now it was full of eggs. So if we lost our queen and they were gonna make some replacements, it would be on this frame. They have <laughs> filled this with syrup. It's a lot of capped brood here, and all of this is going to be from our queen, because this was not capped last time we were in here. I don't see our queen on these frames, though. Take my time, though, because I have been known to overlook her. Let's look on this first frame. I very seriously doubt she's on those next two because they were pretty well laid up. That's just pollen. That's honey. Alright. So I don't see her queen yet, but I also don't see any queen cells. So there's a chance she's still here. There she is. She's right over here. She may have jumped to the other side. Nope, there she is. And where'd she go? She's working on getting on the other side now. Where'd she go again? Well, this queen is a runner. I swear, there she is. Okay. So our queen is still in really good shape. And again, the theory rang true for nurse bees. <laughs> they didn't damage our queen. Where'd she go? She's already jumped back to the other side. Well, she is a runner.
<laughs> I don't know where she went, y'all. She gone. All I can tell you is she's on this frame somewhere. I'm having the hardest time with this queen. With just spotting her. There she is. She's right there. She's again jumping to the other side of this frame. She's a turkey. But she's right there. All right. Well, they're good. It won't be long. They're going to be able to, uh, they're going to be able to move into a, a deep once all that brood hatches out. And y'all look at this, this frame, this is her. This right here. It's a little spotty in here, but they've filled it with sugar syrup. So she really couldn't lay in it. Sorry, ladies. Look at this. That's her. That wasn't capped last time we were here. So, these guys are doing good. I mean, we, we gave them half their population, but that's beside the point, right? <clears throat> They're doing good. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to refill that jar. to keep a pretty close eye on these guys make sure they don't outgrow this nuke because that could happen really fast with as much brood as in there to hatch we might have these guys in a deep much faster than we thought all right Excited. Well, that's all I really planned to do today. Um, all the other hives look pretty good. Um, I'm I'm not too concerned with swarming. Most of these queens are second year queens, and I know they'll swarm at second year, but uh, Merida here. She is my um, third year queen. So if anybody's gonna swarm, it's definitely gonna wanna be her. But I did split her last year a lot. So maybe she won't. And uh, I think next time I come out, I'm gonna do some checkerboarding uh, with these honey supers just to, uh, just to try to discourage any swarming, so. All right, well, thanks for keeping up with the Stump Hive. And if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.